Secret Service Dignitary Protection Squad. We're responsible for visiting heads of state. I don't recall seeing you around. They hire us for our forgettable faces. Is she on guard? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, why is it you guys who carry guns always sound like cowboys? I don't concentrate on faces in my job. But you listen to voices. Do you think you could identify the voice you heard if you heard it again? Well, I'd say yes. If it, it were, I mean, it was almost a whisper. Whispers disguise the quality of a voice. You are imagined study faces. You know, I'm not really a dignitary. How'd you happen to be up there after hours? We had an evacuation. I left some of my things in the sound booth. I had to go back for them. Mm -hmm. And at that moment, there happened to be a couple of fellows talking about an assassination in a language that you and maybe eight other people understand in a room full of microphones. Do you think I'm making it up? Why would I report a threat I didn't hear? People do. I don't. You know, some people like attention. I don't. Maybe you don't want Zawani at the UN. I didn't make it up. How do you feel about him? I don't care for him. Wouldn't mind if he were dead. I wouldn't mind if he were gone. Same thing? No, it isn't. If I interpreted gone as dead, I'd be out of a job. If dead and gone were the same thing, there'd be no UN. Your profession is playing with words, Miss Broom. I don't play with words. You're doing it right now. No, you are. If I wanted him dead, I wouldn't have reported it. I would sit back and let it happen. It's not what I want. That's not why I'm here. Here? Here, working at the UN, instead of standing on a road somewhere with a machine gun. Because you believe in diplomacy? Because I believe in this place. I believe in what it tries to accomplish. Well, you've had a tough year, lady. Listen. I'm scared, and my protector is someone who doesn't believe me. You don't look scared. People handle fear in different ways, Mr. Keller. It turns some people into stand-up comedians. You don't know me at all. Maybe I should talk to someone else about assigning someone to look after me who's better suited to the job. My job is not to look after you. It's to look after the man who's been threatened if there was a threat. My job, as it concerns you, is to investigate you. So you're not here to offer me any protection whatsoever? No, ma'am. And we were getting along so well. <laughs>